guys, uh, I want to bring you something that I think is important. Um, me and Joe have been talking about this for a while, and it's something that you guys need to start implementing um, into your program routines with your 8 to 1 clients, uh, your private clients, and uh, even your boot camp clients. Um, it, it's called auto regulation. And what it means to me and what it should mean to you is adjusting on the fly to whatever happens with, with clients. Now, Shit happens during the day with everyone, we know that. Um, everything that can affect a training session is essentially our regulation. So you need to, to kind of visualize what's going on with this person. You've got to hear what they're saying. Um, it, it, everything, all of our senses have to be coming into play here. So what I'm saying to you is, if someone walks in, let's say uh, David DiMartino, he's a private client. Let's say he's like, oh, I had a crazy, crazy workout last night for football. No, I'm real tired. And I have written down a program where he is going to get after a strength series for the entire session. And it's heavy based. Now, to me, in being in, uh, you know, a, a good trainer and, and knowing this stuff, I have to downgrade what I have in my program. Maybe I make it a recovery day. Maybe I make it a lighter strength day. But the point is that you have to change according to what's going on. Now, obviously, boot camp is not going to be, but for instance, I'll give you an example for boot camp. Let's say Rose McLean, she broke her toe. She comes in, and we're doing a lot of lunges, and she's telling me, hey, you know, Aaron, I just broke my toe. Uh, is there anything I can do something different? That's all the regulation. you got to change up whatever you're doing. Maybe give her a single leg balance. Something to still work her and get her towards her goals, Keep, keep in mind and get away from any kind of flexion of the toes um, that will cause you some injury. All right? That's our regulation. Um, some more examples of those would be uh, if someone can't get into a, a squat, a, a deep squat, we, it has to be some kind of muscle imbalance. Maybe instead of you know, just hammering away at the squat and trying all different squat variations, you foam roll a little bit more. You stretch it a little bit more. You give them some more mobility drills so that, hey, now I can get into a full squat from before where I was just here or something like that. So that's what auto regulation means, guys, all right? And we need to start taking it into consideration. Sometimes it may mean scrap the program you have written, um, or it may just mean to take it down a notch. Um, you, but it has to be, you have, as soon as your client walks in that door, you have to be, all right. I'm analyzing this person, what do they need, what am I hearing from them, um, and I can make any adjustments from that, all right? Uh, check out, uh, I'm going to send this uh, video to you guys, also a doc to kind of help you uh, understand uh, what's going on as far as auto-regulation, but start implement, implementing it uh, as of today, okay? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope this helps, and ask if you have any questions.